Every Saturday morning, you can find Matt Bircher at the New Bern Farmer's Market working what he calls his hobby. There's a good crowd of people that come through there, and the best thing about it is people coming from all over the state and really the country. It's not what most 19-year-olds are doing on their Saturday mornings. Give your usual sales pitch, and it starts with, yeah, I wrote my first book my last semester of high school, and you kind of see a different look in people's eyes. My mom says I was born a 30-year-old man. The soon-to-be junior at Appalachian State says the writing seed was planted early in his life. I had one middle school teacher who kind of said, one day you're going to be an author worth millions, and I was thinking, I don't know about the author worth millions part, but that kind of always stuck with me, and it, it kind of built my confidence up as a writer. The seed didn't start growing until he had some free time during his senior year at West Craven, and that first book just kind of happened. Well, I had a free class period during the day, so I figured I'd do something productive during that time since I was already at school. Started writing it right there in the West Craven Library and would work on it every day at the same table, same time, and and uh, a couple months later, I had it finished. But Bircher had to put his own money into getting it into printed form. So I self-published these books, meaning you have to kind of put your own resources to getting it published and available for people to buy. And um, you also have to buy author copies to keep stock. Bircher says he enjoyed the process so much, he wrote a second book. That one was titled, A World Unknown. Then his third book is The Way to Redemption. I've been able to break even and been able to you know, make some money doing this as well as a kind of a side thing, you know, not, not the making millions part like that teacher said, but I really try to focus on the message within each story. Bircher gets his writing inspiration from a couple of different authors. John Grisham, you know, um, he started out as a politician and a lawyer, and then he just kind of did this writing thing on the side, and so I can see myself, you know, maybe one day in those positions working a job and just doing this on the side. And, and then also a, a local author, Joey Jones, he was a big help in getting my first book published, just walking me through those steps. And his family is also a big inspiration. His grandfather, Joe Thomas, is a former state senator. His uncles, Alan and Scott Thomas, are also big into politics. Family's a big, um, important part of my life. And my uncle, you know, Scott Thomas, he made the acknowledgments page in my first book because He's, he's always been someone I've looked up to. I've always been interested in, in politics. I could definitely see myself either working behind the scenes in the campaign or uh, maybe having a campaign of my own one day. Uh, you never know. But in the meantime, while he works on his undergraduate degree, Matt already has a fourth book in the works. It's really a hobby that I get to share with other people, and it's a neat thing to do. But um, if people keep enjoying them I, and I have the time and the ideas to do it, I'll definitely try to keep it coming.